There are many ways to find information in your brain. First, if you know what you're looking for, just type it into the search box. Note that clicking anywhere on the display places the keyboard focus into the search box automatically, so you don't have to click there each time you want to search. As you type, matching thoughts and links are displayed. Results are shown in two groups. First, thoughts and links whose name or label matches, followed by results from within notes and internal file attachments. Click on a result to activate it. If you want to choose a different result, you don't have to retype the search. Just click on the search box to redisplay the last results. Obviously, there are other ways to find information in your brain by browsing the relationships between thoughts. This is useful when you know something tangential to the item you're looking for, such as a person it's connected to, the project it was made for, or another similar item that's likely close by. This is just one way that relationships you build in your brain will pay dividends in the future. Another important way to navigate your brain is using pins. Pins are used to create gateways to thoughts that you use often. The thoughts you pin are always just a single click away. Make a pin by right-clicking and choosing Create Pin. You've probably also noticed the past thought list at the bottom of the screen. This shows the items that you've recently activated. If you want to see a more comprehensive view of your recent activity, try clicking on the Recent Thoughts button in the toolbar next to Search. This opens a list of thoughts that you've recently modified, organized by day. One final tip on search. If there are terms that you'd like to exclude from search, just precede those terms with a dash, and any thought or link that contains that term will be removed from the search results.